Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It's Wednesday. You know what's up? It's named that riff. I'm gonna play a guitar riff from the 80s. As is my want. You be the first to leave the correct artist and title in the comments below. You'll win the preset, including the IR. Pretty sweet. You wanna? There you go, everybody. Good time, 80s. Name that riff fun. Hmm. Come on back tomorrow. More free sets for the week. I've got two more. Uh, free set Thursday and Friday. <laughs> Not sure what I'll be doing, but uh, yeah. Like I said earlier, be the first to leave the correct artist and title in the comments. You'll win this one, including the IRs. It's my Tone Tubby uh, Marshall 1982A cabinet. And uh, I'm using it for everything that I do with the Helix these days. It covers everything it can get because if you listen to certain irs they don't sound good with with heavy bottom they don't sound good with a with a very light bottom you know they don't sound good with a scooped mid that tripod is very crooked just noticing anyway huh that's fun so uh yeah irs it's hard to find one that does a that covers a lot of ground uh I have found three that do the uh, three sigma marshall 1960 v3a and high watt 3a combination of those two and then this one the one that i worked on for a long time and now it's a reality huh no more buying irs good times in the new year i'm going to make it uh, a project of mine to convert all of my old presets to the current ir so I'm going to have to upload them all into my Helix, put this IR in them, and uh, make sure they sound right, and then put them back out. Uh, there shouldn't be a ton of EQing necessary or adjustments uh, to the three Sigmas. They're very similar in their architecture, but the ones that have the own hammer are very different. Own hammers are a lot less, uh, are a lot... Yeah, a lot less bottom heavy than the three sigma. So, huh, I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, rock on. <laughs>